Sagittarius. This is going to be a reading for mid-July 2019. I don't have a fancy intro for you because otherwise I would speak and speak and speak. So I'm just going to shuffle the cards and do the reading. I have nothing to impress you with. So, let's do this. So the card at the bottom of the deck, Page of Cups, um, there may be a new offer of love here from you or somebody that's coming towards you. And your reading halfway through looked amazing, like sad you never had a reading like this kind of reading <laughs> until you got this the depression card here. But um, your overall energy for mid-month, you get the Hierophant. This could refer to a marriage, um, a very solid commitment, and it's looking, it's crossed by the Eight of Pentacles here. So it's looking like you're working to, you know, build that up, that uh, solid foundation here. And again, in your focus, you get the Four of Wands. This is a marriage card here. So you might be working on um, this committed relationship or you may even think about proposing or somebody's thinking about proposing to you. Uh, in your past, you get the chariot. This was something that happened very fast. Um, some sort of movement that happened very, very fast. Um, in your strength, you get the sun. Uh, you may be dealing with a Leo here, uh, Cancer in the past. Um... Or, you know, this is just you being very, very happy. And with the way things are looking so far, I would be too. But in your immediate future, you get this. Uh, you get depressed over something. Something is going to make you feel very, very sad. Um, what's supporting you through all of this is a brand new beginning. You know, this may actually even be a passionate idea. Something that's, you know, very beneficial to you. Um, the energy that is um, playing around here is the Ten of Cups, which can only make sense after what I just read. You know, the happy family life kind of thing. In your hopes and fears, you get the King of Pentacles. If I see this Taurus in your reading one more time, I swear to God, I'll rip this card up and no, I'll just take it out of the deck and I won't put it in for Saji. So you may be dealing with the Taurus here. This is in your hopes and fears. In your potential outcome, you get the Page of Swords. Again, a brand new beginning in something. Um... This may be you actually wanted, wanting to express something to somebody here. Possibly about starting something. But let's clarify some things here. Um, let's clarify the um, Hierophant. Let's see what that is. That's your overall energy for mid-month. Um, so you may be connected to a fire sign here that <clears throat> currently I think you are um, thinking that this person is deceiving you in some way 
here. And that's actually bringing a lot of burdens on your shoulders. And I think it's just the, the process of you thinking like that kind of puts a lot of weight on your shoulders here. I do not know if they are deceiving or not, but I do get a feeling that that's what you think. And I think that's kind of eating you alive here because you're currently building with this person towards something stable and loving and a future with this person. Uh, let's clarify the chariot in your recent past. You, you have a lot of Leo cards in here, so you may be dealing with a Leo here. And I feel like you either left this Leo or the Leo left you. And it happened very, very sudden, very fast here. Uh, let's clarify the Let's clarify the Five of Cups in your immediate future here. Let's see what's making you sad. So somebody wanted to start a brand new relationship with someone and I feel like it may have been you and you didn't get the answer that you expected here and that's that's gonna bring you a lot of sadness. You're probably gonna figure out that this person, whoever you're offering to, um, has a lot of options here and this is going to make you very very sad here I want to clarify this four of wands in your focus I want to come back to this four of wands because things are looking a little unclear here in your situation with this Leo person So definitely a connection that meant a lot to you, but it also brought you a lot of pain here. And I feel like it ended. Somehow it ended. But I feel like you're still thinking about it a lot and you're still hoping for it. And, um, in your immediate future, I see that you're probably going to be the one that still wants this and you're, you're going to hit a wall because your person is looking like is moving on towards a lot of other things here. Um, you get the Ace of Wands in your what's supporting you here. So let's clarify. Let's see what that is. And again, the King of Pentacles show up, my favorite card for you, this Taurus person keeps popping up in your readings. And this is something that is, is a little heavy on you, whatever is going on with this person here. But you do have a lot of love for this person. And um, they also have a lot of love for you. So... Let's uh, clarify this Ten of Cups here in the hidden energies. What you don't know.
So somebody here is definitely wanting to be single. I don't know if it's you. I don't know if it's your person. But somebody out of these two people that represent a solid marriage, solid connection here. One of those people wants to be single. Wants, And they're very clear about it. They, there's no buts and ifs about it. You know, they're pretty firm in their position here. Uh, let's clarify the Page of Swords in your potential outcome. I feel like this is the same person that wants to be single and they are looking to start something brand new on their own and uh, it is gonna make somebody feel very abandoned left out in the cold pretty much here so um, this does involve a very solid commitment here which unfortunately one of the two doesn't want anymore and it's pretty clear that that person currently wants to start something new on their own and the other person is hurting a lot over it and is not willing yet to fully let go of this um let's pull a mystical shaman oracle card For you. And you get the council. Let's see what that is. Um, the council has a message for you. Listen with your inner senses. The handwriting is already on the wall. So look about you and you will discern its meaning. Do not wait for further signs. Embark on the journey to love deeply, forgive sincerely and dare greatly. Take the leap without requiring life to assure you of success. So... Uh, this is what I have for you. Um, yeah, it's looking it's looking like a separation overall. Sorry if you're on the the side of you know having to go through this and not really wanting to. Um, I will see you next time and yeah. That's it. Bye.